हेलो कैंसर हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्टार 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 एंड वेलकम टू योर रीडिंग सो कैंसर दिस इज अ शॉर्ट एंड अ स्वीट रीडिंग एंड दिस इज आल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग रीडिंग बिकॉज दिस रीडिंग इज अबाउट द ब्लेसिंग्स दैट आर कमिंग योर वे इन टर्म्स ऑफ लव मनी करियर एंड योर स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी और सेल्फ ग्रोथ ओके नाउ बिफोर आई प्रोसीड टू ले डाउन द कार्ड आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू इन्फॉर्म यू कैंसर दैट रीडिंग फॉर ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू हैव एन अपलोडेड ऑन विमियो ओके इट्स अ यूज पोर्टल दैट इज ओपनिंग अप एंड विद ओपनिंग अप ऑफ दिस पोर्टल लॉर्ड ऑफ डोर्स टू लॉर्ड ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज इज बींग ओपन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड दैट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग सी इन दैट रीडिंग लाइक विच अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर कमिंग योर वे विच अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर अवेलेबल फॉर यू देन विल सी विच वॉट ब्लेसिंग्स आर कमिंग योर वे एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली Uh, I have provided certain affirmations, Cancer, and you need to recite those affirmations for thirty days. You can start from today. You can start from any other day. There are no time restrictions. However, once you start, you have to recite those affirmations for thirty days continuously. How you how you are going to recite those, uh, and how much time will be consumed? You will literally consume like max to max five minutes in recitation of those affirmations. Okay, so. I would personally recommend uh, you guys to go ahead and see that reading. Uh, the link for that reading is in description box and the comment section. Okay, let's get started now. <clears throat> Remember, this reading on YouTube is short one, so we're gonna see the blessings that are coming you towards you with respect to career. We have eight of cups and. Knight of Cups clarified by Six of Cups. With respect to love, we have Nine of Wands and Six of Swords clarified by the World. Wow! And then with respect to your spiritual journey, Page of Swords and Eight of Wands and Queen of Cups. So, what blessings are? Okay, let me show you the cards first. When it comes to your career and money, we have Eight of Cups and Knight of Cups. clarified by 6 of cups when it comes to your love life 9 of wands and 6 of swords clarified by the world when it comes to your spiritual journey self growth we have 8 of wands and page of swords clarified by queen of cups okay so cancer when it comes to your career we have 8 of cups 9 of cups and we have 6 of cups clarified by 6 of cups so what i see is all the cards are cup cards okay so maybe cancer uh First of all with the knight of cups I feel like there are some offers coming your way with respect to your careers maybe uh there is an offer by your boss okay say for example your boss is quite impressed with your work ethics with your intelligence and your boss is starting a new business okay so your boss will propose to you like hey i am quite impressed with what we are doing and i am going to start a new business like why don't you join me for this business let's let's start working together or for some of you what i see is if you are already into some business <clears throat> someone is going to come towards you with a substantial offer okay and it is going to be a substantial offer like you first of all i don't see you rejecting that even if you will reject that it will be very very difficult for you to reject that because i mean if you end up rejecting that offer you will have your own reasons to reject that but for majority of you this is going to be a very lucrative offer that is going to come your way <clears throat> also i'm sensing that acceptance of one offer will require you to give less attention towards whatever you're doing right now also i'm sensing there will be multiple sources of income that are that are going to come your way like during the year 2022 you'll have two to three at least two to three sources of income is what i'm hearing so if you have only one source of income right now by the end of the year you would have built up at least two to three sources of income but then when it comes to your love life we have nine of wands uh, and six of swords clarified uh, clarified by the world so you know what cancer so far in your love situations you were the one who was always who you are the one who always compromised for everything you are the one who was always submissive in a love relationship but going ahead that is not going to be the case okay there is a tremendous rise in your confidence there is a tremendous level of self awareness and you know that you are not here to accept any kind of shit from anyone 
okay and with the six of swords what i see is you're walking away from uh your naive version okay you're walking away from that version where you probably out of love you were showing a lot of kindness to your partner you were showing a lot of care or you were showing a lot of generosity to towards your partner and probably that generosity was not required but you were showing that generosity you were showing that kindness out of love and care for that person but now you are like because of your increased self awareness because of your because of your improved confidence and because of the transformation that you are undergoing what i see is like whichever next relationships are going to happen you are going to have an upper hand in the relationships okay i'm not saying you will be the dominant one but your person will not go against your will your person will be extremely respectful towards you your person is going to be extremely uh they are going to love to be to act submissive like they i mean wherever required they will be the dominant one but they will make sure that they don't do anything that is going to hurt you in any way so you will always and always have an upper hand in the relationships probably that was not the case in the past okay i'm also sensing that you are going to travel and that travel is going to give you an opportunity to meet a lot of new people you're going to meet uh, your soul tribe and one of the person amongst that soul tribe is going to be your person okay so travel is going to be of some significance over here when it comes to your spiritual journey maybe you're learning something is what i'm getting you're learning about law of attraction or you have an inclination to learn about law of attraction you have an inclination to learn about manifestation you have an inclination to learn about uh how to manifest reality how to manifest your dreams into reality you have an inclination as to how you can quickly manifest things for yourself okay you have seen other people doing that and you are pre pretty curious to do that for yourself and i'm also sensing that you're going to take a lot of care about your health you're going to take a lot of care as to what you're going to put inside you the food that you're going to have the food and beverages that you're going to have you're going to be very cautious about it okay and i'm also sensing that you're going to take a lot of care about your health about your body about your uh, I see a lot of exercise you doing a lot of exercise some of you are inclined towards yoga and meditation okay you're going to treat your body very nicely because you know one thing is that if your soul is happy okay and your soul resides inside your body so ultimately of course you will have to take care of your body so one thing you know for sure is that if your soul is happy everything else will remain happy okay so that's what i see you are trying to take care of your soul and when i say that with the queen of cups uh you're trying to take care of your soul that also means that you are going to make sure that you are surrounded by a lot of positivity okay and to help positivity to help uh for a positivity to be uh, to be retained in and around you you won't mind showcasing your stronger side to the people i mean if any low vibrational soul is trying to pull you down is trying to uh, incorporate negativity in your life you won't mind becoming aggressive you you won't mind showing them that you are angry you won't mind giving your peace of mind to that person okay probably that was not the case in the past but this time around you're going to be very very particular or going ahead you're going to be very very particular about uh how you treat yourself how you how you allow other people to treat yourself okay that awareness that consciousness is increasing to a large extent okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below i said this is going to be short reading and still we are at 9 45 9 minutes 45 seconds anyways so i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below and the reading for 22 to 2022
have been uploaded on Vimeo. Uh, a big portal is opening up today and with the opening up of that portal, lot of opportunities are uh, becoming available to you. That's what we are going to see in the reading, which opportunities are available for you, what blessings are coming your way. We are also going to see what is the advice that is required for you guys for the next couple of months. And we are going to see uh, what else. Yeah, the most important thing, affirmations. I've given you certain affirmations. You guys have to recite those affirmations for 30 days. You can start reciting from today. You can start reciting from any other day. Okay, but once you start, you'll have to do that continuously for 30 days. How you can do that? What are those affirmations? I have mentioned that in the reading. And it takes hardly 5 minutes, even less than that. Okay, so make sure you do that diligently. Why it is necessary? It is necessary to create some vibrations. Okay, recitation for continuous 30 days is necessary to create vibrations in and around you. Okay, so the link is in description box and comment section. Bye-bye then.